Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you all how to compare two strings and generate a number to show how similar the two strings are. To do this, we will be using the module diffLib. So let's get started. Import diffLib and then I will create a few variables to store the strings inside the variables so that we can compare them. The first variable is text1 and it equals to line. The second variable is text2 and it equals to line s. Finally, the third variable is text3 and it equals to tiger. What I will do is I'll compare line to line s and generate a number to show how similar the two strings are. And then I'll uh, compare line to tiger and then again generate a number to show how similar line and tiger are. Now let's continue. We create an object called sequence equals to diffLib dot sequence matcher. Sequence matcher is a function inside diffLib and it asks for three arguments. The first one is isJunk. isJunk is basically asking you if anything needs to be ignored. So we pass in the value none to tell it that nothing needs to be ignored. Now the second argument is a. a is basically the first string which is being compared. So we pass in text1 because we want to compare line and finally the third string b is the second string which is being compared. So we're comparing line to line s so we pass in text2. Now to compute the number we create, no we will use the function ratio. So difference is equal to sequence dot ratio now difference will store a fraction but since fractions are hard to read we will multiply it with 100 so that we can read it as a percentage so it's easier to read now finally one more thing is the value that difference will generate has might have a lot of decimal places and a lot of decimal places is hard to read so what I will do is I'll use the round function to reduce the decimal places to 1 so that it is easier to read. So difference is equal to round. Inside the round function we pass in the number which is being rounded off so difference and then we pass in the number of decimal places which we want so I will pass in 1 because I want one decimal place. Now finally I will print out the value of difference so remember to uh, remember that difference right now is an in integer so we need to use the string function to convert the, the um, integer value inside difference into a string and then I'll use the addition operator to include a percentage match save it so basically what's happening is the sequence matcher is comparing text1 to text2 and then using the ratio function multiplied with 100 to create a percentage we use the round function to keep it to one decimal place and then we will display the number so if the number is 10 it will be displayed as 10 percent match so let's run and see what the number is See, the number here we, we got was 72.7% match. So it's um, expected because line and lioness are quite similar, right? So how about line and tiger? Let's see. So just replace B with text 3. Save it. I'm guessing that line and tiger will have a lower number because these two strings are not similar at all. So let's run this. And as expected, the number which was generated was 22.2% match. So I think this function sequence matcher is quite uh, useful for comparing strings. And um, I hope you all have found this video useful. And if you have any questions, please do comment below. If you want more videos in the future, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.